Oh yeah, he pulled some drag. He hit like a monster. Dude, get the net no matter what. Let's just get the net. Something's on, fish on. Fish on. Oh, he's on him. Whoa! Ready? There he is! Dude, look at all of them right there. Look. Oh, crap. Oh, shit. Oh. It hit like a keeper. That bad boy slammed it. Something going on. Come on, baby. It, oh, 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 oh. Got a lost. So today on the Dreaded Fisherman, we are going to do a catch and cook fishing trip out of Clearwater, Florida. It is a bottom fishing trip. I'm going to introduce you to how bottom fishing works, what you get, what you pay for, what you may possibly catch. And we're going to go back and we're going to cook it up on the Dreaded Fisherman's Catch and Cook. Peace. Yeah, no break it down like. This is what we're catching here, ladies and gentlemen. We are catching grunts. So what we're using is we're using cut squid that they actually provide on the boat. I hook that squid up on a circle hook, and this is what we're casting out there for our fish. <laughs> Look at that. Look at those teeth. Oh. Those teeth. Whoa, don't let them bite your leg. Right? Sometimes you never know what's going to come up from the bottom of the ocean. So the trip has come to an end. Again, we left out of Clearwater, Florida this afternoon on a party boat. And what we ended up with is some white grunts, some black sea bass, we caught a lizard fish, we caught a grass porgy and some corn. We're gonna take this back and we're gonna do a dreaded fisherman's catch and cook. Peace. So these are two of the white grunts we caught on a fishing trip out of Clearwater, Florida, and we're going to use these white grunts for today's Dreaded Fisherman's Catch and Cook. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to make a white grunt taco salad. Basically, we're going to take those beautiful white grunts we caught on the Clearwater fishing trip. We're going to season them up with some nice smoky paprika, 
chipotle seasoning. We are going to dress them up with some fresh basil that came out of my pot of garden. We're going to also use some hot peppers that came out of my pot of garden with some lime, red onions, and fresh garlic. After we cook that up on the grill, we are going to put that over our salad and top it off with Barbara's Kitchen's mango salsa. All right, let's do this, people. So what I did was I scaled and I gutted the white grunts, getting them ready for the seasoning. And what we're gonna do first is we're gonna get some of that chipotle smoky seasoning in the cavity of the fish. And then make sure it gets a good amount inside the cavity. And also now what I did was I created this nice little stuffing. This is just a red onion, some fresh garlic, lime, and some of those hot peppers. And we're gonna also stick that into the cavity of the fish. Each fish gets its own little stuffing mix of these uh, red onions and lime and fresh garlic and hot peppers. And get that right up inside the cavity of that fish. We are going to grill and smoke it in this pan that I have right here. And we're also going to take some of these basil leaves and we're going to stuff these fresh basil leaves yeah, inside the cavity of the fish. some nice fragrance and some nice flavor inside there. Once that is done, we are going to season the outside of the fish with that same smoky paprika chipotle seasoning. And a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt. Finish it off with a couple of slices of lime. And this, my friends, is gonna go into the grill. Time to get this bad boy on the grill and let's smoke it up. And we just got the fish off the grill and the fish is looking and smelling mighty good. This is our end result of our grilled white grunt. And we are gonna now put the salad together. First things first, I am going to put a bed of spring mixed greens in the bottom of this uh, dish. And we're gonna build it up from there. I am going to put the corn chips around the outside of this mix of spring mix. Get these corn chips around here. And a lot of times when I start plating, I actually don't even know where I'm gonna go with it. It just develops as I go along. So I'm gonna give me some nice corn chips around the outside of this salad. It's gonna make our taco white grunt salad. Next thing I'm going to do is I am going to get some nice crispy cold cucumber and balance off this other side with this nice crispy cold cucumbers. I'm just going to layer up that cucumber with some uh, nice red onion in there and I am going to slice up these little cherry tomatoes and put them in the salad also. I like to slice my tomatoes in half just to give it a nice easy way to eat them. Yeah, sprinkle those tomatoes in there and I'm basically going to end up doing the same yeah, thing with these peppers. And these are actually just organic sweet peppers in that salad. It's coming together nice. 
Now just adding a little bit of celery to it for that extra crunch. And of course you can add whatever you like or whatever you don't like, you don't have to add to the salad. But well, let's continue on. What I'm gonna add to the greens is a little bit of lemon infused, thyme infused vinegar. A little lemon thyme infused vinegar. A little bit of olive oil. This is a special olive oil. Actually one of my clients has a place in, um, in Greece where he makes his own olive oil from his own olive oil farm. Placing that nice, smoky, grilled, white grunt on top of our salad. Almost done. And I am going to top this salad with our mango salsa. This is Barbara's Kitchen's Mango Salsa. Nice heap of that on top. This is one of the most amazing salsas you would ever taste. And let's top that bad boy off with a little bit of sour cream. Ah, a little bit of sour cream on top of that. And we're just about done with our beautiful white grunt salad. We're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of cilantro on top of that. And there you have it, my friends. The Dreaded Fisherman's White Grunt Taco Salad. And remember, I am just a fisherman. I am not a chef. Let's dig into this plate and see what we got. Once again, this is the Dreaded Fisherman. We caught this white grunt on a fishing trip out of Clearwater, Florida. Caught this grunt yesterday, fresh as best. So we caught this fish yesterday. We went um, and scaled it, we gutted it. I filled it in the cavity with some red onion, some lime, some fresh garlic, some hot peppers that came from my little herb garden. Seasoned it with some smoky paprika chipotle seasoning. We topped it on top of a bed of greens with some cucumbers, some cherry tomatoes, some sweet peppers, and some nice corn chips. Topped it with mango salsa. That's Barbara's Kitchen's mango salsa. Has a little bit of spice and kick to it, and a little bit of sour cream with cilantro on top. Let's dig in and see what we have. This white runt, uh, it's nice and smoky. Uh, the flesh is a nice texture to it. Mmm. That barbecue chicken mango tastes delicious. We're gonna add a little bit of this fish to the uh, to the corn chip in here. Mm. That is delicious. I'm gonna have a little bit of fish, a little bit of tomato, a little bit of sour cream, a little bit of mango salsa. Mm. And do you have it? Another dreaded fisherman's? Catch and cook. Peace. Mm. That's some good stuff right there. Take it to the
the brick it down like Take it to him. Break it down like...